Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Access 2016 Basics. My name is Steve Bishop and in this video we're going to be talking about select queries. So when it comes to our users, we really don't want to be giving them direct access to the table data itself. This could be very dangerous as they may not necessarily understand the complex relationships that we've been building between the different table data. So instead, we need to offer them some way of asking for specific or targeted information. And we do that through something called a query. So with our queries, the user is allowed to ask the table for very specific information, and the query can return that information in the format that we provide. Let's build a select query in our Access database. So for our first select query, I'm going to make a very simple one that just asks for some information about the people in our table. Let's go ahead and open up our people table just to take a look at this information again to see what the different columns are that we have available. So in order to create a query, I'm going to go up to the Create tab and select Query Design. I prefer going through the designer rather than the wizard. Now you will be presented with a list of tables that you may want to select for this query. For right now, we're just going to do a select query on the people table. So we'll go ahead and add the people table. Let's go ahead and click close. And now I'm going to expand on this people table a little bit so we can see everything that's in here. And we can actually see a lot of information about the people, including some information about pictures that might be embedded with our people table. Now, what I'm interested in showing the users is just the first name, last name, and perhaps whether or not they are active. So let's go ahead and drag each one of these columns to a separate column below here in the designer. So that's the first name. Then we'll do the last name. And then finally, we'll select active and drag it to this column. Now, you'll notice that when we drag one of the fields to the columns below, it automatically populates some information in these various fields. So the first one is the field name. So we can see that we are actually selecting a first name from the people table. We're also selecting the last name from the people table. And finally, we are selecting the active field from the people table. We also have below here on the show field a checkbox for each one of the individual fields from our people table that we may want to show in our query. Now that I'm done dragging each one of the fields from my people table that I want to show in my query, I can go ahead and run the query by clicking on the run button. Now we can see first name, last name, and active much in the same way that we could see those fields from the people table. But notice that we are filtering the information we're not getting the ID field or the date of birth field or anything like that. And that's because we may not want the user to see all of that information. We may only want to show the relevant information for what that user's task is. Going back into the designer of this query, I can either click on this view button that currently shows the designer icon, or I can right click on the tab and select design view. Now let's say that I don't want to actually show the active so I go ahead and unclick on the show option. And if I rerun the query, we'll just see the first name and last name. If I once again go back into the design view of the query, we'll see that active is still available, but we just have it unchecked. We can check it again to once again show it in our query. Now behind the scenes, what's actually happening here is a special language is being employed called SQL or SQL. To see that SQL language, I'm once again going to right click on the query tab. And this time I'm going to select the SQL view. And behind it, we will see a select statement along with a from statement. Now the select statement indicates the table name followed by a dot and then the field name on that table that we wish to see. Inside of the from statement, we will see the name of the table only that we want to view the data from. This is a simple select query. One last thing I'd like to show you about a select query is that 
we can actually write a very simple select query using the asterisk instead of each one of the individual fields. So if I did select asterisk from people and I ran that query, we would see all of the information from the entire table of people.